Very, very good evening, friends. This is Rahul Magan here as a Group Chief Executive Officer, Treasury Consulting, and also a venture capitalist. Standing today on 3rd January 2021, I'm going to be shooting a pretty important video that would be covering forensic audits. But before that, let me appraise you that like any other YouTube video, our YouTube video also having a dialog box, which is very next to the video section provided by the YouTube. If you click on this dialog box, you would be reaching to all free groups operated by Treasury Consulting, which includes Twitter, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, YouTube, you know, Instagram, and our fixed and complete form. As YouTube is permitting us only 5,000 words. So there is a universal link which is given at the top, which is a PDF link. If you click on this PDF link, then you would be reaching to more groups because the total description is more than 5,000. So we cannot share on the description box. Apart from that, I'm very pleased to share that our news desk, our video trainings, our audio trainings, more importantly, our Penny Stock Trainings Desk, FNO Learnings Academy, Motor Bike Club, Power Purchase Agreements Desk, FX Desk, Family Office Desk, and many other things are live. If you wish to have more information, then you can directly WhatsApp either me, which is 9818485155. This is back office number, 9818485155. Or well, you can WhatsApp me as well, which is 9899242978. Either ways, you can WhatsApp. We know that frauds are not restricted to India. The very recent fraud we have in the world is Wirecard. And if I'm not wrong, the amount is around 1.9 billion euros. And I'm sure as I speak, in some country, in some company, there is some another accounting fraud. Majority of the regulators do a very unanimous thing, which is that they conduct a forensic audit of that fraud. And 99% of the time, the forensic audit is either incl inconclusive or it gives almost similar kind of report like any other forensic audits do. But I would like to highlight few issues for all the young people, those who wanted to understand the forensic audit. Number one, forensic audit is practically divided into four parts. Number one, the finance, the financial section of audit, which includes balance sheet, cash flow, PNL, vouchers, SAP, Oracle or any other ERP package, enterprise resource planning package. Not all the companies are having SAP and Oracle, different companies are having different uh, ERPs also. And in some cases, some cases companies are having prop ERPs also. Prop ERP means their own ERP. So one is the financial section. Another is the treasury section. That is the most complicated. Treasury section includes the fund transfer, mutual funds, term deposit, FX conversions, Reuters, Bloomberg, you know, APIs, and so many things. And treasury section is the most complicated section we are having. Third includes the, basically I would say the most important thing, which is placement of money. Like I already shot a video about money laundering and in money laundering, there is a concept called structuring. Structuring is further divided into two parts, which is placement and smurfing. Now placement, we need to decide how we are going to place. I have already explained in our earlier video and in smurfing, we're going to be taking the final call, how we would be laundering the money. I have seen many forensic audit reports in the public domain and read many hundreds of articles in the public domain about forensic audit being conducted by the big force without quoting the name of that big four. And I hardly got any conclusive remark as far as the smurfing is concerned. I never got to know that how exactly the, smur the smurfing is tracked. 
And by the way, if any forensic audit is not being able to track the smurfing piece, then I think it is useless. Fourth and very important in forensic audit, which is not there at least in any of the Indians forensic audit, which is the swift audit. No company of the globe, no country of the globe can survive without SWIFT. You do a dollar transaction, 200 million, 300 million, 1 billion more, SWIFT is required. So, but unfortunately, majority of the forensic audit, people don't talk about SWIFT audit. Don't ask me about regulators because regulators understanding of forensic audit is highly primitive and they are completely dependent upon the forensic audit report. They have their, they have their no mindset. And unfortunately, this is valid across the globe, to be honest. And I have seen recently in Wirecard scandal. So all those aspirants who wanted to be in forensic audit, they need to understand the financial part in detail which include balance sheet, PNL, cash flow, and a lot of stuff. Please understand that this scrutiny is different than your learnings. Maybe you, have, you are a chartered accountant, you are a CPA, CFA, or different degrees, but scrutinization is a different than auditing. Like in one of the videos, and in fact, in often I said that, Whenever the accountant end with the balance sheet, that this is your sales, this is your PL, this is your profit, thank you. The valuer starts from here. Valuer starts where auditor ends. And that is the only reason why a valuer gets so much as a compensation or a salary compared to an auditor. Similarly, in forensic audit, once you do the scrutiny, your work is completely different and independent compared to the degree you want. Number two is definitely, you know, and uh, number three, you understand number four, which is very important, which is the swift audit piece of it. So guys, we need to take forensic audit really, very, very seriously. Now I will give you a simplest example. And of course, uh, in upcoming videos, I would be uh, covering this in our money laundering desk with anti-money laundering desk which is suppose I have already said that in, in forensic audit swift audit is mandatory or should make mandatory in swift audit there are nine classes all are important but to me three five and seven three five and seven are more important when it comes to seven Let me say MT760, message transfer 760. First of all, 99% of the auditors do not understand how to read MT760. Because this is not the part of the most of the course curriculum and people also don't have any intent to learn out of it. Second important thing is that how to tweak MT760. In case of forensic audit, the major purpose to check the siphoning of the money. Example, there is a, I'm just taking a hypothetical example. There is a company called Ram Lal and Samosa Corporation. If this turns out to be a real company, then this is just a coincidence. I always take the names whereby probability of matching with the real company should be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So Ram Lal Samosa and company took 5,000 crores loans from SBI, State Bank of India. Or maybe there is a company in US called Hero Heroics Inc. And they have taken 1 billion loan from JP Morgan Chase. They siphoned off the money. Now siphoning of the money can be done into two parts. The most primitive, primitive means you know how people often use is that the primitive is that people divide this into small 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 parts they create shell companies they create shelf companies and they divide they convert into the fake import and the export transaction and that then divert out of india or maybe out of us to 
different tax havens like British Virgin Islands, Caribbean Islands, Bahamas and 150 plus. Second is we can route this more easily in the form of trade finance transactions. And there is a probability to tweak also. So what I wanted to say that Ram Lal Samosa and company took 5000 crore loans from SBI. Hero Heroics Inc, the US based company took 1 billion from JP Morgan. They can, they can get this done in two ways, either traditional or primitive method shell and shelf companies or what they can done, they can use trade finance, tweak it and just you understand. So what is the use of current forensic audits if the fourth SWIFT audit is completely missing? Or rather I say that, what is the use of the current forensic audits when the trade finance transactions are not tracked appropriately for the tweaking? If you get some time, then think about it. This is Rahul from Treasury Consulting. Treasury Consulting would be covering many aspects on YouTube. Our forensic audit desk is also launching a lot of video and training courses. Many courses are live also. In case you have any questions, you can WhatsApp me personally at 9899242978 or you can WhatsApp our back office 9818485155. Have a great time ahead. Talk soon. Thank you.